Hi, I'm Tony Verhoeven, technical trainer for Polaris Industries. Today I'm going to show you how to install this premium heated seat on this 850 XCR. Before you begin the install, it's important to check and make sure you have all of your parts and all of your tools. Please retain the installation instructions for future reference and parts ordering. In preparation for the seat installation, I'm going to go ahead and remove the side panels and the hood and I'm going to set them in a safe location so they don't get scratched. Before removing the hood, ensure you disconnect the chassis to hood harness connection. With the hood and the side panels removed, we'll go ahead and disconnect the negative and the positive battery cables. Uh, we always want to start with the negative cable first. Another tip is to take a shop rag or a towel and cover the top of the battery so the battery cables can't come back in contact with the terminals while we're working on the install. Next, we're going to remove the seat by taking out the single T30 Torx fastener from underneath. And we'll retain this fastener for installation. With the T30 Torx fastener removed from the seat, we can go ahead and take the seat off of the unit. What you're going to want to do is pull backwards and up on the seat. You can see there's a feature on the seat here and a standoff on the fuel tank that the seat clips into. With the seat removed, we'll go underneath the shock and we'll find the pre-wired connection for the heated seat and we'll just pull that up so it's ready when we go to install the new seat. Next we'll remove the two plastic push darts that hold the intermediate intake plenum to the upper plenum. Next we'll remove the upper plenum. To remove the plenum you're going to take out the two T40 Torx fasteners as well as the two plastic push darts. There's one on each side. With the fasteners removed we can take the upper plenum off of the machine. To do this we're going to move it forward and we just need to get it out of the way so we have access to the console and the wiring for the switch. For the purposes of filming I'm going to go ahead and completely remove the plenum from the machine. With the upper plenum out of the way, we're going to go ahead and remove the fuel cap. Under the fuel cap, we have the filler neck retention nut. You're going to want to remove this nut with a large non-marring pliers or wrench. We've gone ahead and loosened ours already. So we'll get that off. Next, we're going to want to remove the three plastic push darts. There's two on the right-hand side and one on the left-hand side. Next we'll remove the clutch tool that holds the console and the lower fender together. And then we'll separate the two pieces. Now that the fasteners are removed, we're going to want to get the console out of the way so we can access the wiring. To do this, we're going to go ahead and pull out on the starter rope and lift the console off. The console does not need to come completely off of the machine. We're just going to set it in a safe place so we can access the wiring and reinstall the gas cap. Next we'll remove the protective cover around all of the harness connections. With the connections exposed we'll want to find the electrical connector for the heated seat switch. That connection should have three wires going into it and it should match the switch that was included with the kit. For the purposes of filming, I've gone ahead and removed the console from the vehicle. You can leave the console installed and cut the opening for the heated seat switch. Just make sure when you're cutting, you check underneath and make sure you're not cutting in any wires or any important connections. Included in your instructions is going to be a cutting template. Before we cut out the template and put it onto the console, we want to go ahead and measure the reference dimension. So in our case, it's going to be four inches. 
So I'll measure that and it is indeed four inches. What that does is it verifies that this template is going to be the proper size when we put it onto the council. So I've gone ahead and cut out the switch template. We're going to lay that on the council and get it nice and centered up. And when it's in a good location, I'll put just a couple of pieces of tape to hold it there while I drill and cut my hole for the switch. Once the template's installed, we're going to go ahead and take a 5 30 seconds drill bit. On the template, you can see they've marked out each of the locations where you should be drilling. So we'll go ahead and center the drill. and then proceed to drilling all of the holes. So I've gone ahead and cut out the opening for the heated seat switch. Uh, once you drill your holes, you can go back with a razor knife or a file and kind of clean up the edge of the, of the opening. And then what you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure your switch has a really nice tight fit. So I've tucked all the wiring and all the electrical connectors back into the protective pouch. I did leave the switch connector for the heated seat out. So in preparation for installing the console, I'll remove the fuel cap. Once the cap is removed, we can go ahead and loosely set the console into place. Before we put the filler neck lock nut on, we're gonna go ahead and install the connection for the heated seat. It's important to note that this can go on two ways can go on 180 degrees. You're going to want to make sure that the connectors inside the housing make contact with the connections on the switch. With the connection made, we can go ahead and put the console back on and we'll get the filler neck uh, lock nut installed. And we'll go ahead and tighten this down with a non-marring pliers or wrench. Next we'll install the plastic push darts and the clutch tool that hold the console to the lower fenders. Next we'll take our new heated seat and we'll find the wiring for the seat as well as the pre-wired connection that we located earlier and we'll go ahead and plug those two together. Once they're connected, we're gonna lay the wiring in and just sort of loosely set the seat into place. And I'm gonna go back underneath and fasten all the wiring up to verify that we're not coming in contact with the rear shock. With the wiring securely fastened, we can go ahead and install the seat. It's important to note that there's two locating features on the seat that make sure it gets into position. To install the seat, we'll push down on the front and the back and lock it into place. Next, we can install the T30 Torx fastener into the rear of the seat. Next, we'll reinstall the upper plenum. When installing the upper plenum, it's important to make sure that the plastic council snaps into the plenum. And when it's in place, the holes for our two T40 Torx will line up. The final connection we need to make is the upper plenum to the intermediate plenum. It's important to ensure that you get a good seal and we get the intermediate plenum completely locked onto the upper plenum. So I'm gonna go ahead and feel around, verify that it is sealed up. And once we've looked at it, We'll install the last two push darts. We'll reinstall the battery, making sure we start with the positive cable first. And we'll make sure we come back and torque these to specification. Next, we'll install the hood, making sure we make the connection between the chassis harness and the hood harness. So the last step is to go ahead and test the heated seat. We're gonna turn it into the high position and run the machine and verify the seat is getting warm, 
as well as make sure that it stays warm in the low position.